Some Utahns who made the trip overseas to see pop star Taylor Swift in concert are having a bit of a, you could say, cruel summer. This comes after terroristic threats in Austria force organizers to cancel her upcoming concert altogether. New specialist Brianna Chavez spoke to some of those concert goers. Brianna, I'm sure they're feeling pretty disappointed. Yeah, Dini, absolutely, especially after you spend all that money, right? I spoke to a mother and daughter from West Valley City. They say they're trying to shake it off and just make the most out of their trip. Red is my favorite album. 14-year-old Gabrielle Fittisimanu is a Swifty. We took a train over to Salzburg and we went on the Sound of Music tour. She and her mom, Lucia, made the trip from West Valley City to Vienna, Austria. I didn't know until like two days before. Yeah. A surprise trip to Europe for Gabrielle, all to see Taylor Swift. I had the outfit all picked out, yeah. I had the bracelets. But never in their wildest dreams did the mother and daughter duo think Swift's concert would be canceled. And I had just woken up, I was confused, I was a little numb, and then it sank in. Promoters forced to cancel Swift's three-day Vienna stop after authorities say they foiled a planned terror attack. That would have been a lot worse. Um, if we had been there and something horrible happened. Lucia is grateful for authorities, but flying to Austria was the biggest expense. It's been really heartbreaking seeing the amount of fans who have been waiting years and years to go to a concert. Tess Bonnie of Weber streams Taylor's concerts online for people who can't see them in person. She says fans are trying to make the best out of this experience. I've seen this community really come together, hoping to shake it off. Yeah. Now, Taylor's uh, tour in Vienna would have started today. Gabrielle and Lucia were supposed to go to tomorrow's concert. The good news is they were able to get their money refunded for those tickets. But obviously, yeah, Hedini, a huge expense for them to fly all the way out there. Back to you. Yeah, Europe isn't a close venue, so that's, uh, that's too bad. <laughs> all right, Brianna, thank you.